So today we're going to be testing the cooling fan for the Raspberry Pi 3, 3 Plus, and Raspberry Pi 2. What we get in the box, we get the cooling fan. So two tiny fans, two T packs, and for your memory. Uh, I guess the blue side. So all right. So we got two types. Now the instructions, they I guess they use uh, uh, Google Translator. So sometimes they don't make uh, exactly much sense about it the way they translate this thing. The instructions are kind of even though simple. I don't like the instructions. So they take a one to make the simple. If you use this one if your Raspberry Pi do not heat up too much. The thicker version and use the thinner version if you Raspberry Pi needs more cooling. So why will we that way, right? Well, what happened is I guess some people maybe when you install it, you can short circuit some of the chip or some of the uh, pins with the aluminum with the conductor. So what they're saying there, be careful when you install this because you can short your Raspberry Pi. So in case you're not careful enough, use this one in the set. The instruction doesn't tell you much what the blue side should go to the CPU side or the white side should go. And I try to search and not much instructions about. And we're going to put the, if I remember before the blue side, we put, we're going to install that on the CPU side. So let's try it. Let's do all this real time. Let's first do. And okay, right there. We're going to install it right over here. If it makes any difference. Anyway, in part of the kit, so it's right there. I oh, yeah, it dropped. That's because uh, it just get it up by being the table. So let's get it up and warm up again. I suppose I think it's 59. So now let's put. So let's put this one first. Okay. Didn't put it 100% right in the center. Let's try again. Okay. And yeah, let's take that out. So let me move my mic. Be sure I'm not sure this out. Okay, we can see the temperature drop already. Well, yeah, if I just put in a... Now, can we see this dropping more? So what we're going to do, we're going to install the power. Pretty easy. You're going to you're gonna escape the first one. And we're going to put those two. Plus. See, right there. Okay. And it's on. And it has dropped. 53, yeah, oh, I guess it will cool off a little bit. It will make better, right? Oh, I have to unplug everything now if I want to really put it. Oh, I have to. Oh, okay. I see the problem. It will not work for this box because this pin. So we need to break this pin. Yeah, I like it. It did drop the temperature a lot. Okay, yeah, look. So the only thing I have to do now, it's just, I'm not going to close the whole thing. I'm going to leave it open anyway. Like I said before, it's going to go in the closet. But it works good. We can see real time. It used to be about 70. So it drops now to 49. So it do cool off a lot. Um, there are some boxes that are open, but I have this one. So it looks nice. And I'm going to cover it because I'm sure if I cover this up, it will... It will get warmer. All right. So, guys, so what do you think? I drop about 70. I try this real time. I mean, this is the first time I'm trying anyway. So, I like it. It will be good for my uh, pie hole. And it will be good for my pie hole. So, if you want to get even the box or the cooler or Raspberry Pi, whatever you need, will be all those links right below this video. 
all right guys so actually put this side so now we can see we can see what this thing looks like all right so looks good i'm gonna leave it this way right in my closet all right guys see you next time